Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Kids See Ghosts, the self-titled debut by the super duo of Kanye West and Kid QD, had a lot going against it before it dropped from the Wyoming wilderness. West had already delivered Pusha T's Daytona and his own Yak, yeah, 2 LPS that garnered as much attention for the attending swirl of controversy Pusha's beef with Drake and the Daytona cover photo of Whitney Houston's drug-strewn bathroom, Kanye's bizarre statement that slavery sounds like a choice and his bromance with President Trump as their creativity. With two West-produced albums still left to come this month, by NAS, June 15, and Tiana Taylor, June 22, there was the sense that there was already too much Kanye. But sometimes all that goes out the window. Sometimes an album comes along at just the right time, magically appearing when it's needed. With both West and QD having publicly admitted to their struggle with mental heat issues Yeezy revealed on Ye that he has bipolar disorder, QD checked himself into rehab for depression and suicidal urges in 2016 Kids See Ghosts offers hope, healing, and haunting music in the face of darkness. The first and last words you hear on the album are telling. QD sings in a cathartic wail that I can still feel the love, on opener feel the love, finding both joy and purpose in that survivor cry, while the LP closes with one last repetition of the mantra Stay Strong, on QD montage. In between, QD and Kanye collaborators going back to West's 2008 album 808s and Heartbreak craft a work that easily surpasses ya both musically and emotionally. While Kids See Ghosts feels more like a QD album than a Kanye one, it is a production showcase for both. Feel the Love, with West rapping and QD singing the hook, sets off with some ominous keys before launching into frenzied vocal gibberish reminiscent of German musician George Kranz's 80s dance hit Din Dada. It's almost as if an exorcism is being performed, banishing all the toxic energy to the tribal beat.